In many of my sprinkler videos, you see me using these orbit catch cups. Now these catch cups, you place in the lawn in various positions to get an idea of the uniformity of the uh, water delivery from the sprinkler. Uh, you can tell they're graduated and the reading on the side is in milliliters, which for a lot of people in the you who use British units, that's kind of hard to get their mind around what that really means as far as inches of water, which is what we usually look for when we're looking for it for how much was put down during a sprinkler uh, session. So I put this chart together that utilizes the readings on the side of the catch cup in milliliters which goes from 5 up to 200 milliliters and then using a translation of ounces per milliliter you'll get a value here which is how many ounces are in the catch cup so if you were to fill up for instance and you read a, there's a hundred milliliters in the catch cup if you were to pour it into a, a measuring cup that has uh, values in ounces you'd see there'd be 3.38 ounces captured now that's captured in 16 square inches which is the throat um, opening uh, area on the catch cup so that's clearly not how much is falling per inch that's how much is falling per 16 square inches so what we need to do is divide this value here into uh, by 16 and tell you how many ounces fell per square inch. Now that still doesn't get us there. We now have to translate ounces per square inch into inches of water. So there's another uh, conversion factor of 1.8 cubic inches per ounce. And when that's done, it comes out in inches of water. So in our example of 100 milliliters in the cup, that's actually 3.38 ounces, which is equals 0.21 ounces per square inch, but comes out to be 0.38 inches of water. So that's how much you're actually putting down during that sprinkler session. I hope this helps. Have a good day.